ever wondered why our ancestors were able to digest milk and not us? Bloody Ayurvedic lessons that changed my life. How have we all become lactose intolerant suddenly? There are two reasons for it. Scientifically speaking, we're lacking a bacteria called lactase which helps us digest lactose. Now, when was the last time you petted a cow or a calf? You know what happens when you feed a cow, bathe a cow, you're exchanging bacteria, lactase bacteria, and you're also helping the cow release more serotonin because of the human care and because of the calf feeding. The cow produces more milk and also adapts to the human needs. How's that? There's a hormonal exchange of information. Just like how when a mother holds a baby and feeds, the child releases pheromones which the mother inhales through the nostrils and that sends messages to the mother's brain on what kind of milk to produce for the child. The milk is never the same between two feeds and between two children from the same mother. Similarly, cows respond to human empathy and that secret relationship. Back in the day, every family had a cow that they treated as a family member, they bathed it, they treated it with goodness and gave a lot of good food to eat as well from their kitchen sometimes. This allowed the cow to respond to that human empathy and produce more milk that was healthy and that had serotonin in it. Fast forward 2025, cows are kept in factories tortured, confined, separated from their calf, artificially inseminated, forced to give birth every single year, rupturing their uterus, exposing them to hormonal diseases and uterus damage. And these cows are releasing that growth bovine hormone, antibiotics, pus, blood, and even the cortisol into that milk. Do you think an unhappy cow can give you healthy milk? And do you think you can boost your health with that milk? What can you do instead? Switch to Cruelty-free milk. Drink the milk only if you know the cow has been treated well. Only if you know the cow personally and have visited the gaushala or the cow farm. Or even better, switch to plant-based milks. There are coconut milk which is very healthy for the pitta body type. There's almond milk. You can stay away from oat milk excessively. Reason being it can give you a sugar spike. And stay away from soya milk because it is also laid with estrogen or isoflavins which mimics the estrogen in the human body. Here's to healthy living and a healthy you.